Alright, well hey everybody, Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me today. What we're going to be talking about is this little sub-ohm tank right here. This little flavor sub-ohm tank right here from Watofo. This is the flow tank and I have been having a really great time with it. Again, it's not reinventing the wheel, it's just a sub-ohm tank, but I really have had a great time with it. It is also Baby Beast compatible, but in order to get to know this tank just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close, as we often do, that's right, quick short up be closey time yeah <clears throat> all right yeehaw what we have here is the watofo flow sub ohm tank there's not going to be a whole hell of a lot to see up here there's a coil head on the inside which looks exactly like this coil head it's a big guy with little three little holes on each side for juice flow i've had a lot of success with these coil heads i've probably put about 60 mils of juice through this coil head right now and it shows no signs of flowing down i just get very nice flavor. This is a 0.25 ohm coil head on the inside and they say to rock it between 35 and 60 watts and they are very accurate. I've found with this particular coil head about 55 watts is all I need to get a really good vape. Standard press fit 510 drip tip on top. It's a sub ohm tank so there's no real reason to ever rock this on a hybrid mod but it does have a nice protruding static 510 pin. It does also have a nice adjustable airflow that glides fairly evenly, clicks fully closed or or stops fully closed rather and then stops fully open so you can take it all apart air flows nice and smooth top fill system you just unscrew this and then you have two very large shaped kidney holes there to fill to bleh your juice in it's just a sub ohm tank there's not a whole hell of a lot to see here but this particular sub ohm tank does also happen to be baby beast compatible baby beast coil heads and i personally i am not a fan of the smoke tech baby beast coil heads i think they're kind of junky but what i got in the mail from vapor stock room are these third-party baby beast coil heads made by medusa coils i haven't tried these out yet so what i want to do is take this tank apart i'm going to wash it out i'm going to throw a baby beast coil head in there and then and then we're going to vape it and that's the previous coil head using surf satisfying juice it looks a little bit dirty a little bit worn in but honestly i think this coil head has plenty of life in it still i feel like these are quite nice long lasting coil heads so like I said, I got these Medusa coils from Vapor Stockroom. They're Baby Beast compatible. It's a five pack. They are staple Claptons. It says designed to make the baby even more beastly. They're a 0.25 dual coil staple Clapton. Yeah, let's put it in. Yep, little coil heads in a little blister pack like that. Yeah, they look pretty cool. Very wide open, very wide open in the middle. Now, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the Smoke Tech Baby Beast coil head. So I'm going to put this in the Watofo flow tank and hope it works a lot better. A lot better than the original Baby Beast, not a lot better than the original Watofo flow stock coil heads, because as I said before, I think those are great coil heads. But it's also Baby Beast compatible, so I figured, what the hell? Why not? I'm just going to do my usual routine. I'm going to put some juice into the center of this coil head. Let that soak in just a little bit. No need to go crazy. Just put some juice in the middle. Now I'm just going to top off the rest of this with some juice. Then boom, your top goes on. So yeah, little Watofo flow tank. Nice little flavor sub ohm tank. We got that baby beast coil in there now. So what we're going to do is get back out to normal view. Vape this guy. So right away, I noticed a big difference between the Watofo Flow coil heads and these Medusa coils, Baby Beast compatible coil heads. The Watofo Flow coil heads have a little bit of a restricted lung hit sort of sensation going on. It's a little bit more restricted, and what that translates into is a little bit more flavor and a little bit less like big clouds bro clouds vapor production. The Watofo Flow tank with the stock coil heads, make no mistake about it, it is a flavor tank and the flavor from those coil heads is really something good. Not to mention my first stock coil head that came with the Watofo flow tank lasted me over a month and showed no signs of slowing down. But I did get these Medusa coils that are Baby Beast compatible so I thought I'd try them in the Watofo flow tank and see how big the differences are. Right away I notice a difference in flavor. They're not quite as good flavor as the stock, you know, flow coil heads. They make this tank a little bit louder but they also really open up the airflow <sighs> the 
The flavor on these coil heads are fine. It's not gonna blow your mind with amazing flavor, but I can definitely taste the juice I have on the inside. Got it loaded up with Vigilante Rogue, which is just delicious juice, and it tastes fairly delicious in this tank. The main thing that I like about this tank is it's reliable. It's easy to fill up. You just pop the top and fill it up, and it's a little bit lower profile than a lot of the other sub-ohm tanks that have been coming out. There's a lot of sub-ohm tanks, like that new one from UL that I do really, really enjoy a lot, the Valerian. It's just sometimes on a few mods it looks a little bit tall and ridiculous like if I throw that valerian onto a hexome I look at it and I go okay well that's ridiculous but with this it's a little bit lower profile it's a little bit cooler I can throw it on the squid industries and it looks right at home it's it's nicely sized it's a little bit lower profile a few things I didn't mention 24 millimeter diameter 4 mil capacity and it also comes with this big giant silicone thing on the inside of your tank and I'm assuming that's for the TPD to actually be able to sell this tank under the TPD. It needs to be a certain capacity. So the idea is that people in the UK or Europe under the TPD are going to leave that big silicone thing in there and only use this as a two mil tank. But honestly, they really have no way to enforce that. So I'm assuming that 100% of the people that buy this tank in the UK or Europe are just going to pull that silicone thing out and use it as a four mil tank. Not much else to say. I like it. The flavor on the original coil heads is banging. It's got a little bit restricted of a draw. When you drop in these baby beast coil heads from Medusa coils, because I don't like the smoke tech coils. Not sure how many more times I can actually say that. But these Medusa coils are rocking right along. It's baby beast compatible. You can change it from like a big Clouds Bro Clouds tank to a little bit more of a lung restricted flavor tank. And I think that's pretty great. And honestly, no real vape budget hands needed. I found this all over the internet. Watofo has it, Vapor DNA has it, my vapor store has it, Element Vape has it, all for around $25 to $30. And kind of like the Manta tank from last week, this is just a sub-ohm tank, okay? It's not reinventing the wheel. But it is put together real well. It's nice and reliable. It gives me good flavor, and reliability goes a long way in my book. Anyway, that's what I got for today. I'll throw some links down in the description to where you can check out this Watofo Flow tank if you are so interested, but thank you. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. And as always, yes, let's keep on vaping. So yeah, that's what I got. I'm gonna throw some links down in the description to where you can check out this tank if you so are a... What? What?